Here we are back with the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED, which is an awesome laptop. If you haven't seen the review, I will leave the link right over here, just in case you want to check that out. 2.8K OLED display with the awesome i7 12th generation. But today, it's not about the laptop. It's about what kind of performance we'll be able to achieve if we connect an external GPU to this awesome laptop so that we can take it to work, take it anywhere, do all kinds of jobs. But when we arrive home, if we want to set it up with an external display, which was the way that I did test that out, we have a different level of gameplay. Now, this laptop comes with Windows 11, as I stated on the review, but if you have a computer without your Windows activated, don't forget to check out a link down below for cdkeysales.com, where we can get official OM keys for Windows 10, Windows 11, a platform that we have been using for the past few months. is really easy to purchase, easy to activate, and with the coupon code RJCK, you will get an extra 30% discount, just in case you want to check that out. Now, let's talk about this setup, which in my opinion, I love it. Not all laptops will be able to do this. They will have to have a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 connection, which is the case of this ASUS. Now, the best way to connect is to connect the laptop directly to the GPU through a Thunderbolt cable and then connect the external GPU through the outputs of the graphics cards that we have to a external display so that in this case the data is going in one way. We will be also able to use a setup with just the laptop and the external GPU but in this particular case we will have a bottleneck in terms of data because it will be passing through the both sides so that it can display the image right over here and this is not the best case scenario. We have done this test with the Space Edition laptop. I will try to leave the link right over here. What I have on the setup I will leave links down below as well. The Asus ZenBook 14 OLED, the Akitu external GPU and a KFA2 3080 and also an LG display 27 inches 4K. My tests were all 1080 so that you can have a balance and then compare with other machines. In terms of results on 3D Mark, we are getting just with the laptop roughly 1700, but when we connect the external GPU, we are getting roughly 13,000. So you can see the huge difference. Now let's take this to some games. First of all, we have tested the Call of Duty Warzone 2.0. On basic and medium, we were getting 20 to 35 frames per second, as we have seen on the review. Now, when we connect the external display, we increase the graphics to balanced, and we're still on the 1080 resolution, so that we can keep things fair, and we were getting 90 to 110 frames per second on Call of Duty. So it's a huge improvement, more than three times, and we will have a great experience on the game with the same laptop. Now, we also tested out Overwatch 2, and this particular game is some of those games that I would say, hey, if you are just going to play this, then probably the external GPU, it's not worth it, because we can play it on medium settings, hitting the 60 to 70 frames per second at 1080 resolution. But when we connect the external GPU, the story is different. We were achieving between 200 and 250 frames per second, which is a awesome experience. And in this particular case, my suggestion is that we don't need to limit ourselves to play at 1080. We can increase easily to 2K or even 4K and improve the graphics and still have a great experience. So this would be what I would do if I was playing Overwatch 2 with this setup right over here. Now, these are games that we could achieve some play with just the laptop, but we are increasing the quality and so on and so forth with an external GPU. But uh, there are some games that simply cannot be played with machines such as this one. Regardless, having a great CPU and all the really nice specifications, it really needs 
high-end GPU like the one we have right over here. And one of those examples is Battlefield 2042, which is a game that I really enjoy by the way it's made, by the experience that we have. And I did test out quite a few maps and quite a few vehicles. I did test out online with normal players and also with AI players. On average, which I believe that it's a good balance for the setup that we have right over here, with medium settings, we were getting roughly 70 to 90 frames per second. 1080 resolution with a really awesome experience, which otherwise would not be possible. This is one of those games that only with the laptop we were getting roughly 10 to 15 frames per second, if that much. And like this, we are able to play it. And we are talking about Battlefield 2042, but we could talk about other AAA games which are really, really demanding. So this is what you can expect from a machine such as this one. And one of the beauties is that if I want to invest today on a laptop, probably, most probably, I would invest in something that has a Thunderbolt connection such as this one right over here. So that's in six months, one year, two years, I have the freedom to decide, okay, I want to jump with an external GPU and give another life to my laptop. So hopefully this video was helpful to decide if this is the setup that you are looking for or not. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.